last week we talked about Amen. How Nehemiah came and, and, and heard about the situation in Jerusalem. Amen. We heard about how Nehemiah prayed. Praise the name of our God. And we, we, uh, we also learned that Nehemiah was very specific. Amen. Nehemiah went to God and told God, said, listen, this is exactly what I want. Amen. Praise the name of our God. Are you with me so far? Amen. When Nehemiah heard about the situation, it was about the ninth month of the year. Amen. So when you go back to Nehemiah chapter 2, amen, and it says, it came to pass, are you there? Chapter 2, amen, and it came to pass in the month of Nassan, in the 20th year of King Artaxerxes, are you with me? Amen, 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 the king, that wine was before him, and I took up the wine and gave it unto the king. Now I have not been before time sat in his what? Presence. Are you with me? That is verse what? One of chapter two. Praise the name of God. Now, now, in the month of Nassan, meaning the first month of the year, in the Jewish calendar, last week we said ninth month, how many months in between? From, from the ninth month to the first of the year, we, we, we saw that it was how, 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 how many years? I mean months. Four months. Amen. So Nehemiah, Nehemiah stayed before God for four months. Amen. In Nehemiah's uh, heart and belly, he was carrying the desire of his heart. Praise the name of our God. Now, in the king's presence, the Bible said Nehemiah brought what? He brought wine. But this time he was wearing a sad face. Are you, are you, are you with me? Are you there, church? He was wearing what kind of a face? A sad face. And in verse 2, Wherefore the king said unto me, Why is thy countenance sad, seeing that thou art not sick? This is nothing but what? A sorrow heart. Amen? Nehemiah was a happy-going fellow. But this time, when Nehemiah heard about the situation, amen, the Bible said Nehemiah became very sad. And he wore the sorrow for months. So in the presence of the king, praise the name of our God, Nehemiah could not help but still carry on the sad face. Praise the Lord, church. And, 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 and in verse 3, and said unto the king, Let the king live forever. Why should not my countenance be sad when the city, the place of my father's tomb, lieth waste? And the gifts thereof are consumed with fire. He let the king know right off the bat that the reason why I am sad is because of what? My country, the place of my birth, is lying in waste. Praise the name of our God. Why are we sad? We sad because the house of God has not yet been built. Can I get a witness? The reason why we are saddened is because the house of God is not yet been built. The reason why we are saddened is because the house of God Praise the name of God is still lying in waste. The reason why we sadden is because the windows of the house of God is broken and has not yet been repaired. The reason why we are saddened is because the, uh, the, the carpet is not yet been. The reason why we are saddened is because there are dirt on the walls. Are you with me so far? Now, how many of you come in the house of God and see something not right and your, your heart is saddened? Can, can, come and talk to me, church. How many of you, when you come in the house of God, you, you see that, okay, you know what? They forgot to sweep up. Let me sweep. You don't like this part. Nehemiah was troubled. And Nehemiah decided to do something about it. Praise the name of our God. Then the king said unto me, For what doest thou make request? Be careful. Be careful when you tell somebody, tell me what you want. Can I get a witness? Yes. Tell me what you need. The Bible said the king asked 
Nehemiah, tell me what you want. Now, my brothers and sisters, what I need you to see here is Nehemiah came before the king, King Arthur's exit, and while he was before the king, God showed me this. The king was a Nehemiah in a Nehemiah. What am I saying? You see, the king was Nehemiah's blessing. Praise the name of God. In your life, God has set a man, a woman, for this particular day. God has set a Nehemiah in your life for this particular season. Amen. 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 I asked a young, young man yesterday, I said, tell me if you had not met me, where would you be? He looked at me and said, Pastor, I would have been dead. So then God said, listen, when you was talking about becoming this kind of a person, that is a barber, I had this man already laid out in the plan. I never saw you in the plan, but God had you in the plan. You see, God had you in the plan. So when we moved down here to Georgia, God had this young man in the plan. And he said, Pastor, if you had not come in my life, I would have been dead. He didn't say, no, I would have probably been dead. No, he said, I would have been dead. So God made me a Nehemiah to take him from phase one into phase two. Are you with me? So the king, God set up this king to be a blessing to Nehemiah for the rebuilding of the wall. Are you with me? In your life, God will set somebody up and have them set and stay in a place. So when you get to that area of your life, this person can take you through the valley of the shadow of death. Praise the name of our God. God allowed King Arthur Xerxes to be king at that particular time. Because the Bible said, Nehemiah, come on church, had favor with the king. Why? Because God knew that there was going to come a place in time where the walls of Jerusalem would, be, would have to be rebuilt. Are you with me? So this King Arthur Xerxes, Nehemiah, what do you want? 